under this category, there's two talks. The first by Michael Link, who you have met before. And the second talk is by Dimitri Laskaris, who you've also met before. So what's happening with Hamas? Are, are they a terrorist group? Good question. Michael, I, I respond to the first question. OK. Since 2006, to my knowledge, Hamas has not been involved or even accused of having been involved in any suicide bombings. The principal basis of the terrorist allegation against Hamas is the firing of rockets into Israel. Norman Finkelstein, interestingly, describes those rockets as little more than glorified fireworks. A tiny proportion of the uh, rockets get through. They are notoriously inaccurate, so it's therefore unclear exactly to what extent, if at all, they are targeting civilian areas. The evidence today as to whether Hamas is engaging in violations of international law against Israelis is equivocal. It's not clear. You could just as easily, if not more forcefully, apply that term to the acts of the United States government. What it did to Cambodia was not terrorism. What it did to Laos was not terrorism. What it did to Iraq was not terrorism. There's an argument to be made. The United States is the worst terrorist state on the planet. A very powerful argument to be made. And yet, and in addition, as I mentioned, the West is arming Saudi Arabia. So when the West designates any organization as a terrorist entity, as it has with Hamas, there are grounds, very compelling grounds, to take the designation with a large grain of salt. So when it comes to Hamas, at the end of the day, it should be judged on its current conduct. We should assess its conduct without blindly accepting what Western governments have to say about it. The Palestinian people have a right to use force to resist. Palestinians, like any other people, have the right within the bounds of international law to use force to resist oppression. Just to, just to add that uh, I agree with what um, Dimitri has said with respect to the right to resist.